Good afternoon. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and that the new year so far for you is going marvellous. Just after Christmas I did my speech about making the new year words count. And I decided after I did this video that I would make a range of videos that would follow on from this to help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve in 2017. I talked about money, I talked about career, and today I'm going to talk about time. Now it's amazing the amount of people I hear on a regular basis who tell me they just don't have enough time to do things. Oh, I've just never got time to do this or I've never got time to do that. And the truth is, you do have enough time. And by organising the time you have in a better way, you will be able to get that time back to achieve the things that you want to achieve in 2017 and onwards. So it's about making effective use of your time. How are you spending your time? How long do you spend shopping? What time do you get up in the morning? How many hours sleep do you have? How long do you, how much time do you spend cooking? How much time do you spend with friends and family? Now I'm not saying you need to put a limit on these things, mm -hmm. but by carefully having some sort of routine, you can plan your day out and you can allow yourself time for you to spend more time with family and friends, to put into a new hobby that you'd like to start, to write down some notes about a new business, to read a book about self-development. So being organised will pay off massively. It's about getting true value out of your time. Because time is precious, so why would you want to waste it? Don't waste any time. It's precious. Having a daily routine works really well for me. And what I do in the morning as well, is I will make a list of all the things that I've got to do in that day. So everything from picking certain groceries up, to people I need to see, to little jobs I've got to do in the house. And what this does, it makes me aware of what I need to do and what time frame I have because of the other things I also need to do. So I plan my day out and it works perfectly because then I know when I've got time for me, when I've got time for my friends, when I've got time to walk the dogs or time to do the jobs. Now, I'm not saying it has to sound so sort of um, army style training camp you know, where you're literally watching your clock every second. I'm not saying it's about that. It's just knowing where you are and what you're doing. And what it comes down to is how hungry are you? How hungry are you that you want to achieve the life that you want? And it's about making sacrifices as well. You see, sometimes we have to make sacrifices. How much TV are you watching? How many programmes are you watching in a day? How many films? Can you cut one of them out every day for an hour and invest that back into reading a book or doing an online course? How many nights a week do you go out drinking with your friends? Can you maybe cut one or two nights out a week again to invest in yourself or to spend on your business? There's many, many ways in which you can cut back some of the time in the things that you're doing to reclaim that time for yourself or for other things that you want to do. Ultimately, it's about achieving the things that you want and living life on your terms. You see, I used to be so unorganised and that's another thing that comes into it. Being organised, right, will, will help you massively. I used to spend so much time looking for things I'd, just, I'd lose things. I couldn't find passports, forms, letters I needed to post or, you know, other things. And I'd spend hours looking through drawers and cupboards and boxes. And as well as being stressful, it served no purpose. Of course, now I'm so organised that if I need something, I just go and get it because I know where it is. And it makes a massive difference. So be organised as well. So I hope you found these tips on how you can reclaim some back some of your time 
and tips on how to best manage your time to be useful. Because if you take some of these tips, they will pay wonders for you. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have an absolutely amazing new year and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.